Hi, hello. My name is Dr. Nupur Arya. I have done homeopathic medicine MD, and today I'll explain you something about homeopathy in short. So, homeopathy is a science based on mind, body, and constitution. So, in modern medicines, there is only one medicine for all the treatments. Like, if you have fever, every person will have only one medicine for fever. But in homeopathy, that one medicine can affect for fever, for stomach problems, for gastric problems, for every mind problems. So the medicine is based on constitution. So we decide upon the constitution how the patient's mind is behaving, how his each and every organ is dependent on that medicine. So we'll talk about constitution uh, based in Ayurveda, you have three Vata Pitaka, but in homeopathy, we have many constitutions of patients seen. And based upon the medicine, the patient constitution is matched. So when a patient comes to an homeopathic doctor, we take a whole history of the patient, that is up to an one hour of uh, history taking, where we analyze each and every body parts, each and every body part symptom. So when you come to an homeopathic doctor, be patient because we'll ask each and everything about you and you have to be prepared to answer each and everything. It's not like allopathy, okay, I have fever, I have cold and two, three symptoms combined and they'll give you the medicine. But in homeopathy, we have to take each and every symptom. So you have to be open about yourself and you have to frankly tell all the symptoms affecting all the body parts. And after analyzing all the body symptoms and then, then we decide a constitution medicine. So you can't just Google the symptom and say that give me homeopathic medicine for one. No, we have to take your history, your past history, present history, family history, then your personal details like your diet, your appetite, thirst, then desires, aversion. Some people desire some kind of food, some people doesn't. And then sleep habits, how is your sleep pattern, which side you sleep, everything in detail. And after that we decide your constitutional medicine or any acute symptom also has to be analyzed thoroughly. We can't just give you upon one symptom that you said, okay, have fever. No, what kind of fever? When does it aggravate? Does it aggravate at night or in the morning or in the daytime? So we need to see each and every part. Then in fever, do you have chills? It's a long process of uh, taking the case history and then we decide upon that which fever medicines to be taken. Now in homeopathy it's not like that we have certain group of fever medicines, no. Each and every medicine can work upon each and every type of symptom based upon your, uh, that for whatever your uh, complaint is at that time. Even newborn babies also have tried uh, homeopathy for colic pain for stomach problems, for cold and cough, coriza, it's very safe, it has no side effects, but you need to see the children's cough. So now children or a child or a baby cannot tell the symptoms. So the doctor needs to see how is the cough. The cough is runny, watery, it's thick. What is the color of the cough? So depending upon the color also symptoms and medicines change. So always it is said that a homeopathic doctor should be very observant and should be unbiased. Should not keep anything in mind before taking the patient. So you just need to be blank and just see the child, see the parents, what the parents are saying, symptoms upon them and then you can give the medicine. In acute cases there are medicines which are okay this is for cough or this is for fever you can give them. But give them for a short period of time and then study the case of the child and then give him the constitution medicine that will affect him for a longer period of time. Uh, now we come to older people uh, for constitution and uh, how medicine will react. So before giving any medicine for older or say little uh, aged people, we give first we uh, cut down his uh, chronic symptoms. Like first we'll give him coffee or crude or something, antidote, which antidotes the previous medicines or the previous effect of the body and uh, we'll let him settle down first with the antidote because any medicines won't react easily in them because there will be abuse of uh, whatever previous diseases or habits or any medications if he's taking so we won't stop them immediately we need to give time for that patient so first we'll give antidote antidote 
mainly it's coffee crude or some other antidote will give and after giving that antidote will start taking his symptoms which are actual so first if you give the symptoms that symptoms would be of the medicines effect or maybe some habits effect so let his initial or the inner symptoms come out and then we'll start the medicine so we have to be very patient give time slowly 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 the original symptoms or the say the disease symptoms will come out and then we'll see the constitution medicine so now finally every household should keep a homeopathic kit you consult your doctor whatever symptoms your uh, family is having based upon that you need to keep an emergency kit in the family where acutely you can give medicines to your uh, family people or in emergency sometimes you might not be uh, medicines allopathy might not be available so you can give homeopathic medicines at that time so for that you need to go to your homeopath and then discuss what symptoms your family is having and you can have that small kit at home for acute purposes and emergency purposes sometimes thank you for listening me patiently